welcome back to the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum. I'm here with Larry Wood, who is the Director of Education for the museum. We're standing in front of uh, one of the most famous U.S. military aircraft to never see combat, the, the North American Fury. Larry, you, uh, you were in the Marine Corps for a good bit of time, and you have a unique perspective on the history of this plane. Tell us how oh, it was yeah. developed. Well, it was originally developed uh, after the war in 1946 with straight wings. And the Air Force looked at it and said, you know, swing, sweep the wings, and uh, that's what became the F-86. The Navy bought the swept wing version, which is an FJ-2, and this is an FJ-3. And of course, this one's near and dear to my heart because it says VMF trip tray on the back end, which is a squadron I had a lot of friends in. All right, what was it about swept wings that made the plane more desirable for the Air Force? Well, you can fly faster with swept wings, so it would actually go supersonic. The original version had an elevator and wouldn't go supersonic, but the F-86H had a stabilizer, just stabilator, just like the supersonic airplanes. So it was truly a supersonic airplane. All right, now, this was in the Korean War era. Uh, I wanted to kind of lead you into your story about how the... Uh, the Marines wound up with the hardware that didn't work out for the Navy. Uh, well, it didn't like the ship real well. The early jet engines had a great tendency to be one, underpowered, and two, when you push the power up, nothing happened. And of course, if you're coming into the aircraft carrier close to the deck and the guy says, wave off power, and nothing happens, uh, you run into the back of the ship, which is not a good thing. So the Navy said, this is not really good for us, and they gave it to the Marines like they usually do when they don't know what else to do with it. So we operated up into the 60s. I knew guys that flew them when I was a lieutenant, and, and they loved it. They said it was a great airplane, very, very stable, very easy to fly, and, and fun to fly. What did we learn from the Fury that may have influenced the de design of subsequent models? Is there anything you can think of? Well, sure, the stable lighter on the back, make the whole tail move to make it go supersonic. Uh, also, bigger engines are better than smaller engines, and airplanes tend to get bigger as they went along. This one, if you notice, has a compared to an F-86, has a much longer nose gear. When you're getting shot off the pointy end of the ship, you want to be pointed up when you start, not down. That's not a good idea. So that kind of thing. And then just it's another step in the progress of airplanes uh, to get where we are today. All right. What eventually became of this airplane and when was it retired from service as uh, I guess the four model oh yeah the FJ4 and that was in the 60s and they just kind of parked them and walked away and left them I'm sure they all went to Davis Mothin or Litchfield Park in Arizona then probably and uh, got retired this one I don't exactly know where it did come from is there anything uh, regarding the folding wings that was different between the models well, if you look through here, you'll always see different ways to fold. You'll see the World War II ones do this like a bat and go alongside. You'll see the F-4 uh, Phantom II, they go straight up on the, ta on the tips. The Corsair, they would fold up over the top of the airplane this way. And these just kind of fold up and stick straight up at a little bit of an angle, kind of odd. And trust me, some genius has tried to fly every airplane with folding wings with the wings folded and it doesn't work very well at all. So this one, when they're folded up, it, uh, it looks kind of like somebody signaling touchdown. Yes, touchdown. You got it. All right. Well, Larry, as always, we appreciate your insight, and thanks for joining us today. Okay, and I'm glad you're here again. This is lots of fun. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.